Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my video. We're gonna transform this into this and I'm excited to share the process with you. These are the cutest pastel autumn slash fall pumpkin nails ever and you need to see how I created them so you can do them too. Keep watching this video to find out how I did this. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. Back, back. Okay, so of course, if you want to see how I removed my old acrylic set without soaking them in acetone, then check out my previous video. I'll try to remember to link it on the screen or below if you are interested, and you'll see how we got to this stage. But now we are moving on to the design process, and I'm very, very excited for this set. So I just launched the most prettiest acrylic collection ever it's absolutely stunning it's this five piece pastel frost collection it's just absolutely stunning if you haven't checked it out then please do i'll link it down below along with all of the other products but i knew that i wanted to use some of these since they are brand new and i was like yes i need to use them but i wanted to do an autumn set so i was like oh what do i do um, and i was like i'm gonna do pastel autumn nails and here we are creating them and it's gonna be good you know what i'm saying it's gonna be good so i've applied toasted rose to my nail bed area and i've blended it down i've then come in with um frostbite which is this gorgeous pastel blue which is absolutely filled with beautiful beautiful frosty shimmers and i absolutely love how these look matte and glossy and of course, using them for 3D, you get that shimmer and sparkle coming through. They just look absolutely beautiful. But anyway, nonetheless, I've applied um, Frostbite to the free edge and I've blended it up the nail. And then I was kind of thinking, mm, what glitter shall I pop on there? And I chose Hazy. I thought it would just be such a stunning glitter to pair with this acrylic and it has a mixture of iridescent pieces with blues and whites and the stars are in there as well which I thought was super pretty so I'm just applying that to the nail where the colours meet to disguise the blend line basically because I didn't do a complete ombre and I'm just moving them around to where I want them of course I wanted it kind of trailing down the nail and I thought that that looked super cute If you didn't already give this video a thumbs up, I would love it if you could just scroll down a slight little bit and just literally click the thumb that is pointing upwards. Um, I would really, really appreciate it. And yeah, leave me a comment if you are feeling these pastel autumn nails or if you prefer the more traditional kind of warm autumn leaf kind of colours. I'm again following the same process for the nail bed area and I'm applying toasted rolls to the cuticle. I'm blending it down the nail and just past the free edge and making sure that I'm concentrating on the side walls so that no product has gone there. But look how beautiful that product flows and how easy it is just to get a nice seamless blend at that cuticle. I think it's just stunning. So next I'm coming in with Pink Frost. I'm doing similar as I did to the previous nail. I'm blending that product up and just to the free edge, slightly over just to mask that area. And then I'm gonna choose a glitter that suits. And for this one, I chose Sweet Tooth. It's a mixture of pearl pinks, whites, and just beautiful pastel iridescent dots. And I think it complemented the acrylic really, really beautifully. So I chose that one and I'm applying it in the same slash similar way across the nail. But look how stunning Pink Frost is. Like, can we just take a second to appreciate how juicy that looks like honestly so freaking pretty i think if you didn't already give the video a thumbs up you should do it just for that because that looks delightful 
Anyway, moving on. I'm coming in and I'm just placing down some clear acrylic. I then pick up my glitter with a small bead of clear acrylic as well and then I place it on the nail and smooth it around, making sure that the pieces are laying where I want them. I got a large chunky piece in there. Sometimes that does happen with the dot glitters. They kind of stack on each other. Just take it out, it's not a big deal. You definitely don't wanna leave it in though because one, it'll look a bit naff and two, when you come to encapsulate, it might not get fully encapsulated in the clear. So I'm just moving around the sweet tooth loose glitter to where I want it. And once I'm happy, I can move on to the next nail. For this next nail, I'm going to be doing a full nail of toasted rose, which is just this neutral color because this is the one that we will be applying the pumpkins on later on. I'm just starting at the cuticle blending down and then I'm going to work my way down the nail, making sure to take care of the structure of the nail as I apply the product as well. For the pinky finger and for the thumb, they are going to be the same. They are going to be a marble of three different colours. I'm using bubble gum from the pastel collection and two of the new frost colours, which are frostbite and pink frost. And I'm just going to focus on the cuticle area to start with so that I can keep that nice, neat and tidy. And then I can move down the nail and create a really nice marble look. Of course you want to come in with your brush and remove any product if it's kind of overflowed to the cuticle or touching any skin because that will cause lifting and problems. So now that I've finished applying my design, it's time to come in and cap everything, but I wanted to have another peek at these and just admire the beauty because I was in love, literally love how they turned out. So I'm coming in with Nail Make Crystal Clear Acrylic and I'm going to encapsulate all of the nails, making sure that everything is nice and even and that it's all encapsulated really well. Also taking care of the shape as I encapsulate because when I first started doing nails I was like whacking the product on, making sure that it was super thick, thinking that is what created the strength and let me tell you, it is not. The strength is created from the correct structure and the correct product placement so just bear that in mind because I still have people now that are learning to do nails and they'll do their set and like thicker. I want them thicker because then they're stronger and it's not the case. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna encapsulate the nails and then we will be back. I'll let you just watch this in peace though. Thank you. 
Here is the products that I'm using. I thought I'd just give you a little run over what I have on my desk. I have the Frostbite Pink Frost and Bubblegum Acrylic Powders. I'm using the Toasted Rose Cover Powder in the 165 gram bulk pot, which I freaking love. Toasted Rose is one of my absolute favorites. And I'm just showing you on the side of the name, just because I can. Um, the glitters I'm using are Sweet Tooth, which is the pink. To the right is hazy and I didn't end up using sugar plum although I was going to it just didn't seem to tie in because I didn't choose any purple or pick out any purple um, so yeah I'm also using the dish which is the best dappen dish you will ever use in your life it's freaking bomb I'll link it down below you seriously need it anyway I went ahead and filed my nails off of camera and buff them and then I'm coming in with the blue opals and the light pink rose opals and I'm just going to pop some crystals on my nails around the cuticle area because I thought they would look really really pretty with the colours that I've chosen. To apply my um, crystals I'm using the instant nail glue which is a nail tip and gem glue as well. This keeps your crystals on for the longest time ever like seriously it's amazing. I'm using that with the um, wax bling stick and I'm just applying those to the nail. So now it's time for the fun bit. We are applying the 3D pumpkins. I'm using the Frostbite and Pink Frost and I'm just sculpting those with the monomer. The 3D brush that I'm using here is the number five 3D brush and it's absolutely fabulous for those details. So as that acrylic sets, I'm gonna press in the pumpkin lines just using a cuticle pusher and look how fabulous that looks. Honestly, they were so cute and I was so proud of these. So yeah, I'm gonna do that for both of the pumpkins, of course, and then add the details with white acrylic. The white acrylic that I'm using is Blizzard White and I have restocked that as well. Okay, so that is the pumpkins done, looking cute. If you love them, let me know because I freaking definitely do. And I'm coming in with top coat as this is the final thing to seal the deal and make everything glossy and beautiful. Of course, I'm not going to apply top coat over the top of the pumpkins. I want to keep those matte so that we can see those details and keep everything popping and looking fabulous. But can we appreciate how stunning these look top coated they look absolutely bloody beautiful those new frost powders the shimmer in there is just to die for it's absolutely glorious
next I'm going to come in and to finish everything off I'm adding some banana cuticle oil and it smells delicious I always just take off this little bit because I find I really don't need it but this little bottle is lockable so perfect for popping in your purse and no worries about it spilling or anything like that so yeah i love it i think the dispenser is fabulous and we have i think it's five sh i'm gonna say shades but five cents in stock and we plan to bring lots lots more because they are just adorable i freaking love them so yeah this is the final look i really hope you've enjoyed this video if you did and you haven't already please do give it a thumbs up and as always guys thank you so much for watching always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and i love you Mwah. bye